Hey, it's Jason from Solar Batteries Online. We're just going to review the combination of the Fronius Gen 24 inverters and the BYD battery stacks. Um, they come in HVS and HVM that are compatible with the Fronius Gen 24. So if you don't have batteries and you have just the Fronius Gen 24, you can get a non-plus version, which just means it's um, just used as a solar inverter for a grid tied system. Um, but it will have batteryless backup. So you don't need a battery in the event of a grid outage. You can install a power point next to this and just plug in an extension cord. You get 3,000 watts of power and you can run that to where you need it, into your fridge, for example, or run your toaster or whatever you need to in the event of a blackout. Um, but we didn't need to do this here because we put batteries with this installed. So, Fronius have got an excellent reputation. Some people call them the Ferrari of inverters in the solar industry. Um, great reliability and excellent warranty. Um, you know, it's no use having a warranty that looks good if the brand isn't reliable. Um, so, this has a nice big fan in the middle here. Um, and inside, when you open that up, it has got lots of fins that work as a heat, heat sink. So they really control the temperature of the electrical components, which just really help the um, brand's longevity. You know, you've got a nice, longer-lasting product. Um, so these will go up to, they've got, you know, um, we've got a 5 kilowatt here, but this goes up to 8 and 10 single phase, and they've got three phase inverters as well. So it'll do up to a 10 kilowatt um, SIMO, it's called, which is the three phase version. We just did a, a job recently with two 10 kilowatt SIMOs and 25 kilowatts of panels and 22 kilowatt hours of battery. And then you can put a second stack. So um, that's what they're looking at doing now. So it can go big. So that'll be 44 kilowatt hours of battery with 25 kilowatts of panels and two of the 10 kilowatt three phase inverters. Um, so um, in Australia, they're compatible with the BYD, HVM, and HVS batteries. Um, so you can get smaller stacks in HVS, like 5.1 or 7.2. Um, in the HVM here, we've got four batteries, about 11 kilowatts of storage, but you can put eight of those batteries, so a much bigger stack for more storage. Um, you know, a lot of people end up wanting more storage than they think initially. So, um, each of these battery modules are 2.76, so you can increase in a nice increment that makes sense just to get your system size right. Um, you know, if you've got a much bigger battery, BYD do make a 15.4 uh, low voltage battery, but you know, I don't know if it's the most practical size for residential if you, you know, want to have, say, 20 kilowatts of battery. You go, ah, oh, now I need to put 30 point Eight kilowatts of battery, maybe that's too much. Um, you can also AC couple this to an existing solar inverter. <clears throat> so you could leave your existing solar inverter there. The excess solar from the old solar inverter um, could be used to help charge your batteries. And you can put more panels on the Gen 24, the Fronius Gen 24. Um, so in the event of a blackout, um, it isn't UPS, which means uninterrupted power supply. The spec sheet says that it switches off for about 90 seconds, which will crash your computer, but, you know, typically it's kind of half that, but it'll still crash your computer. Um, so, yeah, look, it's a, a nice package. It's uh, very popular. They are two different companies, BYD and Fronius, so sometimes... In that situation, you get companies pointing fingers at each other, uh, but they have worked closely together on um, this combination. Uh, so, yeah, it's a really good option for uh, residential hybrid um, solar and batteries. Also, I wanted to Thanks. point out that for full blackout protection, extra components are needed relays and contactors, and the Fronius smart meter. We do have a backup box. Uh, with all of those parts wired in to make the job easier for our installers. Thanks.